What's up, Galfer Crew? This is Clint Lund with Galfer USA and Travis Brock from Every Single Sunday. This guy's he's a he's a wild man. He does a lot of enduro riding all over the United States. We got his gas gas uh, 300 here. We're going to mm -hmm. be doing a little bit of a line change because uh, we need a little bit longer line. He's got some things going yeah. on up front. So essentially, what we have here is a 2021 gas gas EC 300. It's a uh, one of the newer KTM style gas gases. And what we've done with this bike is actually switched up the brakes. We went from the OEM stuff, comes with brake tech. We right. put Brembo components on there. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the WP6500 cartridge kit, which is about 10 or 15 millimeters longer. So uh, yeah. going from the OEM Brembo components off the other bike to this one and a little bit different headlight shroud, the way the routing's done. Mm -hmm. The brake line's been a little short. It yeah. works, but I just, I'm not happy with it. You want a little bit more slack. I want something with more slack and I want something more strong. Strong. Yeah, well, more strong. That's the way to put it. So right? we're going to be doing a smoke color, 64 mm -hmm. stainless braid, and uh, we're going to give you some options too on what fittings you want to run some run, uh, red, black, blue, yeah. whatever. We got some options. <clears throat> so we're going to take some measurements right now. We're going to get this thing inside, not the bike, but we're going to get the line inside. And we're going to start to build him his own custom line, just like you guys can do yep. on our website, www.galfreyusa.com. We have a custom line builder. If you need a couple inches, a half inch, whatever it is, or even a short line we have a custom line builder on the on the website where you can get this exact same thing done so this mm -hmm. isn't just something done for you yep. sorry you are rad but not that rad <laughs> but any of you guys can do this yeah. so let's get to work let's go make some line all the darkness yeah. it's gonna stand so. out it's gonna look fantastic cool. let's do it, let's do it. Galfer, we hooked Travis up with a brand new smoke line. He went with the steel banjos because he likes to go crashing and rushing through rocks. Got that uh, a little bit longer. I think we went with like inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Yeah, right about there. So yeah. just a little bit more slack up on the top. You can see what the extra did. Now it's not tight. Before it was kind of stretched down with the right with the cartridge kit. Basically, it made the forks 10 or 15 mils longer and it just kind of stretched that line out. So a nice. lot better now, not under tension the whole time. Yeah, went, went ahead through some uh, brand new centered pads in uh, the front and rear. We flushed the uh, old brake system full of all its old oil. It was a little bit burnt. Bike has 70, 80 hours-ish on it. Somewhere around there on Yeah, it. so it was time to do a fluid change a couple months ago, but hey, <laughs> it works, we got it done. So we're gonna head out to the trail now go test out these double H centers and uh after and, we get them bedded in yeah we gotta bed them in and we'll talk about the bedding process so let's let's load up man let's do it cool Cold weather with water splashing. We're hitting long downhills that are getting stuck Big very, very hot. Yeah. We're working uphill sections with little tight chicanes where you need braking coming into the corners. Yep. Yeah, so I mean. Let's talk compounds, dude. So so obviously you've ran probably everything, right? You've ran the semi-metallics, the centered, and uh, ceramic, uh, probably ceramic centered as well. Yep. Probably more for the 790, but. That's just with the Galfer stuff. I've tried yeah. the OEM Brembo pads. Mm -hmm. I've tried stuff from this company, this company, this company. Sure. Pretty much all of them uh, before I started working with Galfer. Mm. Now I'm running the Galfer stuff exclusively. Sure. Very happy about that, by the way. And uh, I'm pretty much on the centered pads consistently yeah. with my 300 and my 500 because they have such a big heat range. They work when they're cold. They work in the long, long downhills. They don't overheat. They don't mm -hmm. get totally blown out. Mm -hmm. 
They work in the water crossings. They're just grip instantly. They have a good long life. They're not loud or squeaky or anything. They're just a fantastic brake pattern. All around. That does it all for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, so like out here in multiple different types of terrain, like you said, water, heat, cold, we, we have like our pads are going, what the hell are you doing? Mm -hmm. Everything. Is that what you suggest for the guy that's just going to be out hidden? Is is that the go-to? Is the double eight centered? That is my favorite pad, and mm -hmm. like I said, I've run it in the snow. Mm -hmm. I've run it in 120 degree heat. We've run it on long downhills. Just any heat range, mm -hmm. it seems to be fantastic. I mean, yeah. I can't imagine being out on a 300 or a 500 and getting them too hot. Right. I mean, maybe if you're like a supermoto guy, but at that point, you're running bigger rotors and different pads anyway. Exactly. But for an enduro application, dual sport application, the double H centered is my go to yeah. pad. So, guys, it doesn't matter what kind of bike you have. So, if you have some old clapper or a brand new gas gas or something like that, centered is always going to be your middle of the road, does everything type beauty queen yep. and you know there's there's other things that we offer guys that we'll go into later on but for if you're doing the trails if you're out splashing in the mud playing in the dirt like we are today go for your double eight centered it's a fantastic pad grab them pretty much anywhere that's right guys for more information check out our website that's www.galforusa.com check out your year make model and uh, go see what we have available for your bike until the next video we'll see you on the next one thanks travel let's go ride some more let's have fun gonna, let's act like i'm leaving but we're really gonna go ride more okay bye bye i'll see you on the trail see ya.